Hey, Brad, how's it going? Oh, it's all right. We're coming down the road, but it's been slow. We got a lot of rain, <laughs> and uh, man, all this is one lane. Heading Where are you? We're, um, I'm going to say 30, 30, 40 minutes past Moab. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, you're getting rain. We, we, we've been getting snow here. Oh, really? Yeah. Awesome. Well, you got some warm clothes? Uh, I didn't bring a whole lot. I was thinking it was going to be light, light weather gear. Yep. But uh, yeah. I'll give you a call when I get to Maybell, and I don't know, I'm guessing it'll be right around 5 o'clock. Sounds good. Thank you, sir. Same direction. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, these uh, there ain't no water over here, so they gotta go to the river. So they, uh, let's go up and come over this burn, kinda down pretty much our driveway. And they'll go down there to the river to drink.
say he was headed west? Yeah. Okay, you've seen him yet. I'm almost over where we shot that cow. Oh, well, you passed him. And he was below the road? Below 10? No, below the cutoff road in the middle of it. Yeah, that's just soft. He was just going across the sagebrush head northwest. Was he running or walking? Well, he was walking, but he kind of disappeared over the hill kind of quick, so I don't know if he heard you coming. Jump out of the pickup and walk like 10 yards and I cow call. Just hear this hard breathing and he steps out and I'm hitting my button but I'm missing it. I'm trying to get the range and I look around and I'm like, draw. It's like, how far? And then he's gone. <laughs> I never seen him because I was around the I was around the mesquite. If I'd have seen him, I could have guessed. But I got close. I had one antler. He didn't have a nub or anything like that. Oh, it wasn't? I thought that was that snake bull. Yeah. Snake bull's right down here. Is he? Yeah, no, that one. <coughs> that one had just one. He only had one then. <laughs> yeah. I told him, I said, that's really small. I didn't see, we didn't see the other one peel up. Well, yeah. Man, that time I skished, and we were going over there, and all of a sudden we saw him, and I just slammed on the brakes and started backing up, because they were heading right up that hill. And uh, yeah, they just turned around and, phew, and they hauled ass. <laughs> they flew all the way around the face, and I we never saw the other one come up. So that's Rancher for Wildlife, like that cross mountain one they shot that bull the other night yeah. with the gun. Do they have that many? Mm -hmm.
All right, guys. So that was that was our last hunt, and uh, I'm about to head home, so I'm gonna wrap this video up. Basically, we had 94 degree weather in Arizona. We drove seven hours, and we end up it had been 90 there the day before we got there. When we get there, it's 28 degrees and it's snowed a foot. So it it just wasn't right, anyways. Um, I did not get a bull. I really never had a great shot at one. Uh, I ended up slinging air at 104 yards and uh, at a six by six. And I don't really practice that, that length, that distance. I probably shouldn't have shot, but frustration of being on the road for 12 days set in and uh, no, ant, no, no blood was shed. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna take a shot at him. I thought I, could, I, thought I had it, and uh, I ended up coming in a little bit low. Um, just, just didn't make the shot. It's not something I do every day. But uh, with that being said, the final, the right after I take the 104 yard shot, we catch back up to the bulls. There's two of them. They split off, and then they, they, they one went right, one went left, and I guess uh, a half mile. Uh, further up the mountain, they met back up. I finally caught up to them, got within about 150 yards, and there was uh, another hunter who was not associated with our group or the guide service that um, just basically got real redneck and started talking a bunch of trash about hunting on public land. He he believes that he's the only one allowed to hunt public land and he threw a big old fit and uh, starts raising his voice, cussing at people, acting like a, acting like an idiot. So um, from where I was at, I'm gonna guess two and a half miles away, we could hear them screaming and yelling because they were way on top of the mountain. Or uh, yeah, they were way on top of the mountain. So anyways, at that point, 
the bulls got spooked they took off and uh i stopped the chase it was getting dark there was no way we could catch up to them uh, so that's pretty much how the hunt went but i do want to say smoking river pursuit worked their worked their tails off for me and we did everything we could to get on a bull and cash was my guide christopher's the owner he's an awesome dude cash is awesome dude and they really did they worked hard and it just didn't work out mm -hmm. on youtube as you're watching youtube most videos most all the time everything you watch everything works out and it just happens so perfect well that's not real life <laughs> so every hunt's not perfect you don't always get to kill and uh, i just went through 12 days of hunting with no kill so a little frustrated right now but it's no one's fault it's just that's hunting but uh so that's gonna wrap this video up and uh i want you guys to do me a favor if at all possible man if you could share this video um hit me up on facebook share it uh, share it off youtube however you can share it that's how i'm getting views right now because i've stopped for a couple months and it they took me basically off the charts so the only way people are going to see these videos if you help me out by sharing and uh, i'd love for you to comment and that's uh that's about all i got man i've got a i've got a gator hunt coming up stay tuned i am going to get a gator it's going to happen but thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one